Whoa, all havoc here. All right, so in our last episode, um, well, we found out that not all of the beacons stay there when you get out there. And well, with that, yeah, um, figured out that i um, going to need to delete those. Thanks for comments in the last episode for pointing out that at the basically what I'm going to do at the start of each episode is go to gyps and delete all the old encounters. Um, so if any new ones pop up and we do want to go attack them or be attacked, we will do that. So with that, um, let's see what else was in the comments from last episode. Uh, sloping down from here to there is not going to work because I'm going to actually hollow out that direction as well and probably that direction also. But about three to four blocks worth of space. Oh, I don't have any steel. Hey, we got some right here, though. So, go down probably that much. And then back. So, uh, that will be a thing, but it's not going to happen for a good minute. So, the next uh, project after that getting done was brought up is uh, using this premise for... A tunnel to connect this rock to another rock like that one so that's going to be next is carving our tunnel this way and then building that tunnel in it so that's going to be one of the up and coming very soon projects but okay the shenanigans has been that I'm trying to get us to get attacked from the beginning. I mean, I've not been bashful about, like, I started the game out with Reavers. Um, and now we've got Reavers, OKI, and Orcs, and nobody's attacking. So, uh, one of the members of Discord, uh, I hit up a few different members, actually. One of them pointed out that there's this command. So, it's uh, mes dot gts. This tells us how much of a threat we are to the NPCs. Our threat level needs to be 700 or higher to be considered worthy of spawning something on us. You guys ready for the number? 4,377. Let's do that again so you guys can see. 4,628. So it's it's pretty high. That's well over 700. So, along with that, uh, I've gone into the config file. I have reduced the distance of spawning from me to uh, 1,000 meters. They can spawn within, I set it to 200 meters from an obstruction. And the maximum distance they can spawn away from us is 4,000 meters so four kilometers that's right outside the belt um, they can spawn within a hundred meters of an obstruction so they can spawn right next to rocks so yeah so a hundred meters that's there we go there's a hundred meters they can spawn that far away from a rock and that's more than enough room in here we've got enough Um, bait, as it were, for them to spawn in here. Um, yeah, I just... I'm trying, guys. I really, really am trying to get things to attack. So... Okay. I'm trying. I'm continuously... Uh, trying to get things to work and by all means head over to discord uh, if you have ideas drop it over in general chat and uh, help help a guy out because <sighs> this is getting frustrating I know for several of you you guys want to see it playing out the way I want to see it play out and so I know it's frustrating for you as well but yeah it's it, I'm doing what I can. I'm just gonna keep building, 
and hopefully, hopefully, things keep going the right direction. So, <laughs> uh, the, the way I phrased it to uh, one of the key members who's helping me out with this is, I have moved all the numbers to a stupid, this might hurt level. <laughs> So I've reduced the amount of times that, uh, or sorry, increased the amount of times it checks for spawning. So basically, you know, it takes like five minutes and then it checks again. Can I spawn a bad guy? No, I reduced it to like 30 seconds. Uh, how many time, how many different entities they're allowed, they are allowed to have. I increased it to just stupid, crazy levels. Um, and, well, we've now been live for roughly five, six minutes, and still not one contact. So, I've changed all the AI config files that I can find and are applicable to what we're doing. So, yeah, it's getting frustrating on my part. All right, so... Well, let's talk tunnels, because that's going to be the next thing, and we need to start looking. Look like there was iron in that. That's just LOD. So, I don't know if this is going to be the best direction to go. Um... Oh, that one would be nice. That's a massive tunnel, too. Wow, that would be huge. That would definitely need guns on it to protect it. I'd want to blueprint that tunnel, too. Oh, actually, if I blueprinted it, it would make it easier to align with over there, too. Because then I could just move the projector hmm that's worth a shot okay let's come over this direction and see what's over here let's try that's too high that's too small from there to there would be one that's easily a doable one all right let's hit the med bay real quick Get some more O's. Can't believe that's stuck. Okay. Okay. Let's head back out over here. Yeah, from here to there, that would be a pretty cool one. Then from here, that's pretty far. So I think what I'm going to want to do is set up the idea I'm doing for or the idea I have in the back of my head for drilling the tunnels for this is actually turning this into a simplified version of itself like just this ring and then putting drills inside of it and turning it into a ship. Because then I can put a landing gear on this side of it pull up next to the rock where I want the tunnel to be, latch it onto the rock, and just turn the drills on. So, uh, we have enough stone now to where, oh well, I've always had enough stone in there, but we don't really need to worry about that going forward. So, let's see, do we have millions of stone still lying around? Hmm. Why doesn't the stone want to go anywhere? That doesn't make sense. Oh, now it's full of iron, so I don't... Where's this connector at? This one's this one. Connector, just plain connector. Where 
Where are you, connector? Um, there it is. Oh. What? How did that happen? This is going to be my death. Or not. That's hilarious how it slowed down. That's not how this works. Alright. <laughs> okay, physics just didn't want to continue to apply itself to that rock. But um, we're doing good then. If that was the largest single piece of uh, stone. Yeah, we're doing really, we're processing it as fast as we can collect it. That's great. This is shenanigans. I knew it from the beginning. So, all right. So now I want to do is, this is almost done. I'm going to let it do its bit, but I want to fly out and see if we can poke the bear as it were. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't crash twice in, or two episodes in a row. So now let's uh, bank on out of here. And go see if we can uh, entice somebody to attack us. Okay. How are we doing? I'm still 100% hydrogen. I haven't looked at ice in a minute. Nice. Oh, okay, never mind. We're good. All right, so where is our threat level right now? Still stupid crazy high. All right. Wait for it. Nope, maybe. That's probably the same one that's been here. But it's 20 clicks out. I think it's like that way. What are you? Looks like a mess out there. No, just rocks. Okay. Well, I guess if a mayday is all we got, mayday is what I'm going to use. Come on. I think it was straight up. Is that it? Nope. Unknown signal. Okay. Come on. Where is it at? Give me another ping. Come on. Seventeen clicks right there. Got it. Right there in my crosshairs. Okay. <clears throat> All 
All right, so we're going to head towards it, and hopefully <laughs> we can see what kind of combat we can hold off. Uh, bobs are on. That's crazy far away. Drop our speed down a little bit. Well, so I'm definitely far enough away from the uh, cluster cluster field uh, to entice bad things to spawn, I would think. And our current score is 671. So. <sighs> Ember's not scary enough, I guess. So I'd have to bring Hope out here. Or Harbinger. Harbinger's not done, so it's not going to be Harbinger. Uh, don't have enough built on the base to chance Hope being critically hurt. I'm not sure. Hmm. I just got another Sprat Mayday back that way. All right. Oh, geez. We're coming in hot. Oh, this is... Whoa. <laughs> uh, that was close. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that just happened. All right, what do we got going on here? Um... We got ourselves a couple turrets, um, lots of drills. Lots of resources. I would really like to not blow this up, so I'm actually going to turn those off. Can we come in in a way to not get shot at and harvest this? I think where we're at right now would work for that. Yeah, I think so. So, I think this is a... Uh, there we go. Bobs are working. This is a death trap. I think this is one that's going to blow up if we got close enough. Okay, so there was some beacon stuff going on back there that more than just a mayday. Pirate flagship inbound. Hmm. All right, let's see what happens here. 618. <laughs> uh, depressing. We're just not a threat. Seven clicks behind us, though. Okay. I 
I'd really like to see Mayday. Uh, I saw the Mayday and then I, I lost what it was. Alright, so we're going to need to... I want to get all of this. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Wait, what? No! Where, where? <laughs> okay, I may have messed up the numbers then. <laughs> it despawned. Uh, okay. I need to open that number up a little bit, it looks like. It was there. <laughs> All right, well, that's positive. We're actually getting things to spawn now. Okay, uh, that was a good thing. Hostile signal, that's what that was, okay. All right, so, just wanna get as many of these goodies as I can, because there's a lot of ion on that. There's now hydrogen left, but. Come on, guys. Chew it up. All right. All right, so... Pirate flagship. Yeah, we're out. Full burn. Because it's seven clicks to that hostile contact or seven clicks to a hard pirate flagship. <sighs> Pikachu, I choose you. All right, 130 meters second. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? All guns on, rockets are at the ready. Okay, here we go. And four, three, two. Three clicks behind us, four clicks. How big is this thing? Oh, it's tiny. Oh, a mining outpost has appeared. Oh, fantastic. Now we got stuff to do. Sweet. Well, I guess we're going to aim for the core. Three, two, one. Volley. Uh, all our guns are off. No. <laughs> oh, foolish havoc. <laughs> Oh, he took a beating, though. 
He's going to take another one here in a second. Has he got coming uh, support coming in? No. Okay. I think we I think we won. <laughs> We're actually burning through some hydrogen, though. We actually dropped a percent. Yeah, I think we won. Yeah, buddy. Guns off. Whoops. Turrets. On, 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 on. Everybody's off. Where is that one shooting? Oh, hey. Oh, we're being shot at. I didn't realize that. Hey, little, hey, little bugger. Come here. Oh, oh no. He warheaded me. No, that's not good at all. That just won't do. Oh my goodness, he took out my projector too? <gasps> no, 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 no. Alright, so. Uh, we need a projector down. Uh... How much stuff do we still have around us? Yeah, we just got warheaded. Okay, so we're good. I just need to get a seat down. Which we should have enough parts to do that. I don't have my tools on me. Hold on. Okay, let's put this away. Um, okay, so I have to get to an inventory that I can connect to. Okay, there we go. Grinder, welder, steel plates. That can come out. That can come out. All right. We're missing a lot of stuff. Wow. Uh, so the problem is, is I think we're also in a spot where we're going to get attacked again here, like, in a second. So I need to make this, like, super fast. That'll work. Come on, come on, Bob. Help me out here. Alright. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Alright, back to work. <laughs> so it's a non critical hit, which is cool. Just got to keep an eye out for those little pesky little drones coming at us. Because there's one right there. Do I see a repaired jump drive? I think all his jump drives were hurt. Hmm. Okay, I want to keep an eye over here. Because I see more of those drones out there. Gee, cam camera. This chair is going to go away here in a second. Uh, view. I need to do this real quick. Okay, those aren't drones. Those are just turrets. 
I saw another drone floating. This early way? Hmm. All right. Oh, that scared me. I saw that antenna for this at 92 meters and I got worried. All right. Okay. So now I need to quickly. So G groups toggle block on off. Okay, and now I need to get into y'all. We need to get a projector on board. Just slap it down because we'll have one on board also. Okay, so this gets built and then we'll turn off Bob's align a ember blueprint and uh, we'll be good to go. So what ember are we? This is just ember, okay. Okay. Oh, I just do that. Projector uh, blueprints. Ember, that should be you, right, buddy? I think this is it. If anything else, it'll be really close, right? Because we only need it to repair that one section. So. Okay. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Okay, forward offset. I have no idea at this point. Okay. Come on. Oh my goodness. I'm going back to the chair. <laughs> Boy ejector. Uh, wait, uh, we want to keep blueprint for now. Keep projection, okay. Back to zero. Here. Here. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Now we're talking, right? Okay, so. And vertical is going to be two. The other direction. So I thought, I knew there was another one around. We're off by a block. Why am I running from this little thing? Because <gasps> they're full of warheads. <laughs> I'm a dork. Ah. <laughs> uh. Where is this little thing at? There it is. No! Right. Gee. 
turrets. Toggle on off. Four. Light them up, guys. Thank you. Should have just done that from the beginning. I would have laughed so hard if there was still a warhead in there. Alright, so back over here. Um, so we just need to go back like a couple smidges of forward offset. So to four. Too much. That looks good, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Right? Right? Okay. Let's get uh, in here real quick and see what we got. Projector shenanigans piping that looks awesome all right so with that let's turn bobs back on oh my goodness well so that happened ah uh, that was foolish on my part wouldn't it all right shouldn't have done that yet I'm well aware of it because there's no guarantees this was one was even done yet does it have my hotbars <gasps> it does that's fabulous that's the best part about blueprinting like that is you get to keep all your hotbars so this is gonna send more drones at me I wonder okay I'm afraid to go over there, but I want to go over there. You know what I mean? All right, let's go take a quick look and then uh, we'll wrap the episode up. Oh, whoa, whoa. After I grab my O2 bottle. Where's the other one? Oh, there's like a lot of bottles in here. Okay. All right. Not going to complain about that. All right. So I'm going to probably die. As soon as I get close to this, it'll probably booby trap and kill me. Oof. How much uranium was in that? Oh, the world may never know. <laughs> All right. So, um, there's gravity generators on board. There are doors, there's compartments. Oh. That's atmosphere. <laughs> what are you? Oxygen generator. Okay, med bay. Uh, I guess I'll go around. <laughs> if we put a control seat on this, will we take it? Oh, let's try it. Eight. Placed. Oh, or not. The game will crash. <laughs> and with that, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. This is Havoc. Have fun. And keep gaming. <laughs>